Hi everybody, it is the 16th of February 2021 and Daisy update 1.11 is here. So um, I guess it's time to update our Nitrado servers for PlayStation and Xbox and I guess PC, but this video is really aimed at uh, Xbox and PlayStation and how to update your servers to make sure you get the new items. Well, that, that new rifle anyway. Um, so without further ado, you want to go over to your Nitrado um, services panel um, with all your products on and then for each individual server you want to go to the web interface so you click on that little gears icon and once you're into that one you want to go to the settings general settings general just there and you want to click on that and then when that finally loads because we i've got slow internet you want to scroll down and you want to get to the bit that says reset mission XML to default and you tick that and you save that and then you restart. But before we do that, I just kind of want to explain what's going on here. So with update 1.11, um, Bohemia Interactive have um, introduced a number of changes, including you know this new gun, the S file we're getting. But there's also lots of um, balance changes as well, and I'll put a link to the uh, to the change log in the description below the video. So what what this means is that we're not just getting a, another gun with another 20 round mag um, in the game. They've done a pass on loot balancing, so they've moved. I think they've taken out a lot of. Um, uh, magazines and ammo you know there was too much of that but they've tweaked a lot of other things as well so you may well be tempted to just um, get hold of the new XML files and then take out the like the S file and then put it into your types that XML and your uh, spawnable types files I don't think that's the best way of doing it because you would then be missing out on the balance changes to everything else. And this could also include things like um, changes to um, spawn points for vehicles and zombies and animals. There's lots of other things that goes on when we have these updates. But So when we click this that says reset, mi mi reset mission XML to default and we save and re re we restart, all of those XML files that maybe you've been updating or... Or editing over the last few months go back to vanilla they go back to how Bohemia Interactive want it now this won't get rid of bases it won't get rid of players loadouts it doesn't it's not a server wipe it just puts those files back to back to normal then what I suggest you do is you then download the XMLs from your server the new ones or when Bohemia Interactive update their github download from them from then and then start changing them to the way you want to do it i always think you're better off starting with the proper 1.11 or whatever update it is vanilla files and then change them don't start with 1.10 files and try and add the bits in from 1.11 because you're going to miss out on things you're going to miss out on balance changes and improvements anyway that's the way i look at it anyway so what i will be doing with my servers i'll reset the xmls all to default so the loot will all go back to vanilla people will still have their trucks with all the stuff in and they'll all have their weapons and their bases will still be there and then over the next couple of weeks well next few days probably I will bring out a new set of 1.11 compatible XML files that people can download and use and change and do whatever they want with for um, for uh, for their PlayStation and Xbox servers. So we've ticked that. So we click save and then we restart the server. Are you sure you want to rerun this command? I do. Yes. Oh, right, okay, yeah, okay, you're already doing it, that's good. And then as it's doing it, you just want to untick reset missions XML to default, and you want to save that as well, so that every time the server restarts, you don't want it to reset it once you start editing those those XML files. So there we go, that's how you do that. Do that for all of your, um, do that for all of your servers, and you will have vanilla files. But remember, it will have got rid of all your edited ones. So, you know, before you do this, I should have said this at the beginning, really, shouldn't I? Before you do it, make sure you've got copies of those for reference. But again, I highly recommend start with the 1.11 files and then add your changes in. Don't start with earlier files and add the 1.1 changes in because you're going to miss out on stuff. 
Anyway, that's enough from me. Hope you found that useful. If you have, hit like. If you want to see more of the same, press subscribe. And I will, of course, see you again soon.